Hello, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel. Today was another sunny day in South Florida, and I spent it inside working all day. Lucky me. <laughs> I got to enjoy it for a little bit after work, so that was good. So we're going to work on my sister swab again today. So I did work on this a little bit without you guys, so uh, only because I wanted the next video not to be an hour long. So I added a butterfly, and as you can see, I did write Caitlin on there. So that is all done. The cover is completed now, I feel. I don't know. I feel like I need something right here, but I haven't seen the right piece yet. I think it might be another butterfly or something. Maybe when we're going through decorating. I pulled out some more ephemera pieces, too, in addition to what we already had going on. So maybe there's something in here. There's this pink and gold one. But it just, to me, that just blends. I don't want something that's just going to blend. Or maybe we need a number. How about a 52? I don't know. Maybe just like a ticket or something? A B? Let me eat that. I think this B might be it. is going on there just where I needed something okay dokey mr. B you got forever home now get this wing to stay down. You try gluing it one more time. If it doesn't stay down this time, it's just going to stay up. Not that it really matters if it's up or not. I really would like it to be down. So I wanted to find a place to put this snippet that I made a long time ago and a piece of the fabric um, that's on the spines. I wanted to put, I wanted to integrate that somewhere too in the book if we can. I can't get too thick though because my little Velcro is barely handling it is as it is. So we have to be careful how thick we go. But we can do a little bit of embellishing in the journal itself still. And I could maybe, I backed these. That's another thing that I did. Um, and I just put stuff in the pockets. I uh, filled this one with some embossed paper for her to use. Some postage stamps, which was part of the swap. Um, I put some envelopes in there. I filled this with a tag that we made and I backed it. Now I backed this with painter's masking paper and it's the red one. It's really cool and I'm going to put some in my shop for sale so be on the lookout for that. And in there by the time I get this up so we'll see but alright so let me finish showing you what all I did so I did that 
decorated it up. I think we did that together though. I put some of this really pretty um, stationery that I have. I folded it up and put a piece of that in there. So I have a yellow one and then I have a pink one that's the same. The same but different if you get what I mean. So yeah, so I did that. And then I don't remember if we did this tuck together or not, but I made this little tuck here. And that just goes right underneath there. And then we have all these blank pages in here. So I was thinking we would break that up like right here and do something. So maybe that something is pocket with that or we could do like a belly band and then put that like no well I don't know we get those pink flowers in there I actually think it's kind of cute. Maybe I need to go this way with it, though. I don't know. I think it needs, like, something else. Maybe if we just... Maybe that's just too much. Maybe if we just do this. It's got to be on something, though. We need, like, an index card or something. Yeah, we could do that. I almost want to cut it and just put, like, a little snippet of it. It's snippet. <laughs> it is from a snippet roll. All right, I think I have an idea. So let me get an index card that is not coffee stained because I'm going to cover it up. I have one here on my desk now. Everything I have here is coffee stained. Alright, I guess a coffee stained one it is. Alright. It's not like I don't have enough. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like my assistant at work brought something in the office or my allergies are going crazy because I feel like one minute I feel like I'm sick and the next minute I feel fine. So it's probably just allergies. I definitely, I don't, I don't, I'm not having a fever or anything like that. It's just congestion. So... We're going to do that, and then we're going to take a snippet of this and put it on there. What kind of a snippet do we want? Do we want it from that way or this way? What I'm thinking now is I should have, I should collage that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I, I don't want to cover up all the coffee staining now. Right? So I think I'm going to like Franken paper it kind of. I'm going to sew around there like that and then. We're going to put this on there in like a diamond shape. So I'm going to cut it in like a square. And we'll put that on there like that. Love it. 
All right, I'm going to pause you for a second while I sew around this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. The sewing is all done. Yay. And we are going to put this on. And what I was thinking was, I think I'm going to clip the corners. I want to see if my white crocodile will go through it. And I want to do a large angle cut. Wouldn't you know it? It surely does. So do we want to do all of them? Or just like that, these two. Wow, I can't believe it just went through that. Let's see. Yeah, I like it just like that, I think. I don't know, let me fold that back real quick and see. That makes it look like a label. Do we want it to look like a label or do we want it to look like that? I like it the way it looks. Oh, I think I like it like that. Oh, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. And we're just going to glue it down on the three sides. I can find my glue. Where did my glue go? Well, this is this strange. I must have moved it when I was doing the sewing. All right, let's get this down. This is on the back of register paper. I have like 20 rolls of it. So if anybody's interested, let me know. <laughs> oh and right now I don't know if you guys know or not but I have coffee dyed envelopes uh, junk mail with the windows for sale in my Etsy shop I have two left so if you're interested they do have designs on for the most part I can do plain if you re special request it um I have a ton of junk mail envelopes, so I'll give you a good deal. So, yeah, hit me up on my Etsy. I like to have some more sales. Just starting out, I only have two sales at the moment, so. It's a little bit wider than the page, but I think we'll be alright. As long as I don't glue it to the page next to it. Alright. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, she's going to love that. That's a special touch for sure. Okay. What are we going to put in this beautiful pocket now? I just moved it. I hit it with my hand by accident. Um, what do we want to put in this pocket? Let's put, let's put a document holder in it. Do I have a small one? Not me, but we could make one up real quick. I only take a second. Will it fit though? It's not gonna fit. So that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. 
Ooh, I have this little notebook. Put that in there. Just looking through my pre made ephemera. I have a tag. This thing is not going to close. That little flower came off, but that's okay. The piece, the other piece is right here. If I wanted, I could glue it on there. I think I would too. Now I'm using our art uh, glitter glue and a barely art bottle. I don't know what happened to my art glitter glue bottle, but that's the deal with my glue. So it should hold that down. We'll just give it a minute to settle in. Was there anything else? Oh yeah, I wanted to put something on that to decorate that up. What about the 52 on there? See, I like that, but I think I might like that pink butterfly too because it will stand out on there better. Yes, most definitely. Is that too dark? Because I feel like with that light on, it's too bright. But it's too dark without it. So, I think it'll be alright. Okay, so do we want butterfly or the 52 let me ink this maybe that's the problem it has no outline give it a good outlining so it can stand out a little bit against the background on its own see see how much better that is all right yes I'm going to do it, but I think there was a ticket. I think I want something behind it. I don't know. We'll see if I like this or not. Uh, I think I'll just do the butterfly. This book has become Butterflies and Flowers. Two of my favorite things. Okay. Then we flip this up. And we still have to decorate this envelope. But I already decorated the belly band. I put this chipboard piece on there. And inside I put this little piece of the ephemera that I had that fit perfectly in there. So she's got that. And then I just wanted to put something on there out of these pieces. So there was this one piece with these two birds that I was looking at. Here it is. So I was thinking this for right here. See how nice that is? Yeah. You can like center it over, off center it underneath the thumb notch. Oh, I want to ink it first. Oh, that's not the right. So I hope you all are doing well. Um, so I'm really liking the way this ephemera book is coming out. Stationary holder or whatever you want to call it. I think she will be very happy with it. Okay, we got that and then I want to put some lace down here so it doesn't look like those birds are in the, 
I have this on my desk, just so happens. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I like that. Because everything has a, like a metallic to it, so why not add a little silver? Even though everything else is gold, it's okay. I can add a little silver. There's no law that says you can't mix silver and gold. I do it all the time on my watch. So, there is a law. I should be arrested. Well, I just cut that all sorts of long. I didn't realize it was hanging over the other side. Okay, there we go. And we want something on the flap here. I was thinking, what did I see? Ooh, that's pretty. It'd have to lay on its side though. Let's give it a little eek. See if we like it. So my son is doing much better. Um, he got his meds all changed up from what he was originally put on at the hospital, and he's doing much better. So, that's good news, for sure. Um, this one says, thankful for today. It's a little big. It's going to cover the stitching, but would that be pretty? And then you open that up like that. Is that the same kind of flower it is? It's the same kind of flower, too. Um, let's see, that's too big. Too big. I think we went through all those flowers were all too big. What about this? It's cute, but it would have to go sideways. We got this ticket with the bird. I was thinking of putting that maybe on the back, though. Yeah, let's put that on the back. So a couple weeks ago, I was running through the house late for work. Forgot my breakfast. So I came back in, ran through the house to grab my breakfast bar and slipped and fell because the dog had drunk water. And my finger is jammed. That's why my engagement ring isn't on. I can't get this finger, this ring off. This finger is swollen still. So I need to go get that checked out. So I think I am going to go with no, I was going to go with this. Why did I eat the flower? I like this because it was the same flower as what was on with the birds. It just got glue all over my fingers. It's okay if it covers the stitching up a little bit. No biggie. I really like that though. All right, Miss Caitlin, that's all done. That's all done. Oh, I didn't put anything in the back pocket. Uh, what do we got for the back pocket? Oh, I don't see anything. Some tags we could decorate. Um, where are those? Oh yeah, these sheets fit perfectly in there. So let me do a vellum sheet this time. Some of them are vellum and some of them are paper. So I'm going to put a vellum one in here in the back. They fit in here perfectly. There we go. 
All right, let's stick this back in the belly band. That's all done. Then the belly band holds it shut. We got this. We got that pocket done. Did we want to do something else inside the journal? Let's see. We got that down. I don't think so. I think it's fat enough. Let's see if it closes. With everything that we've already added. Oh no. Oh no, it's not going to close. Oh, that's because those are blocky. Okay, it's closing. It's not liking it, but it's closing. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to add one of these little honeycomb hearts in the corner down here. And there's one other thing I need to do is I need to sign my work. Oh, I was thinking. Oh yeah, the bag. I made these two long skinny tags and decorated them with a floral. I'm gonna sign. Let's look here. I'm going to put Made With Love by. Angela. Two thousand twenty three. Okay. All finished. Ready for its new home. Really like that now because that flower is the same flower I think that's on here. Yes. If it's not, it's pretty darn close. So that's cool. So it's like everything, everything matches so nicely. I'm very happy with it. And the butterfly wing is staying down now. So that's awesome. So let's do uh, one last flip through. So there's our cover with our B, and I wrote Caitlin. And then we have this pocket here, and I put some coffee dyed index cards in there, and a library pocket card. Then in this pocket over here, I have some tickets. A uh, coffee dyed tag that I did. Some those flashcards. One of those papers from the book from this pack here that I got from Scrapbooking with me. She probably got it off AliExpress or some place like that. It looks like. Then you open it up like this. You have this pocket here that has uh, another coffee dyed tag and a ticket. One of these journaling cards from packaging. Uh, eco dyed envelope that I put some brads on. Made a closure with. That opens up to a flashcard. A little hidden flashcard spot there. For her to decorate or whatever. Okay, so that's that pocket there. 
stuff to the brim, guys. Here we have our envelope that we just decorated. Your belly band. I think I showed you this already, the stationery. I put two more pieces in there. And then there's this postcard. And then you've got the embossed paper here. You've got this one, all the purple, pink, gold, and brown. I just liked the color assortment in here. Thought it went well. And then I gave her four forever stamps. The swap said two, and I'm giving her four. Because what are you going to do with two stamps, right? Then we've got our journal, so let's just do a flip through of that real quick. We did the stenciling there. Here's the envelopes. This flips out. This flips out like this. Yeah, this is crazy. Then we did this pocket together. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journal. Oh, we didn't do anything back here. We have this one on the We, we got to do something right here real quick. We got to break this up back here a little bit. Yeah, we got a lot of blank space. I think we should put something right here or right here. Oh, uh, what do we want to do for back here? We can do another flip out pocket. Or we can do one of these wrap around belly band things it's too big for my page but it slides on and off really well <laughs> does it fit this page oh, it does. this page is shorter I guess this journal was shorter that's right I did have to trim it down <coughs> Just looking, <clears throat> excuse me, looking through my uh, pre-made ephemera. I have this one that would go good with this. This is a Roxy Creations. Could put that on like this. Then we get two for one. Two pages decorated with one piece of ephemera. That would even look nice on the yellow page. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's put it on the yellow page. All right, awesome. Okay, let's put it together. So we need to glue this down to reinforce our flap. Then we're gonna let that dry for a second and then we're gonna punch our hole. And in the meantime, we're gonna come over here and we're going to glue down our pocket. Okay. Then we're going to put it on. <clears throat> Gotta get a sip of water. So we're going to glue here, here, and here. So I like to put some glue right above where the fold is. And then the two sides. Me. 
Okay. There we go. All right, let me fold this up. I don't even know if I have been in frame that whole time. Okay, now we need to punch our holes. So, here and here. Well, we could go a little deeper than that, though. No. There we go. And we know that's a pocket, and we know that's a pocket. So now we need something to put in here. Something to put in there. I think I'm going to grab something from over here. I'm going to grab one of these flashcards to put in here. And one of these index cards. Now we need a long tag. Don't have any long tags except for in the back. I could snag one of those. I think that's going to be too long though. I don't know. It's not. It actually fits really nicely. I feel like, what is the Lily's number back here, though? I might have to make something else for back there now, or put something else with it. Let's put this flashcard with this. There we go. Now I don't feel like it's so lonely. decorated at all? I think it looks pretty just the way it is. Maybe like a label or something? Put something there. I feel like it needs something there. Let's look at our labels. It's a pretty one. We'll put that there, or maybe this one. Yeah, let's put that one there. as it's going to get. Because <laughs> it ain't moving. Sorry, I had to fix that pocket. Everything was coming out. Alright, over here, I want to do like a big label. But not that. Do I have anything else to choose from? That's pretty. Pretty. Let's see if we have anything else. I'm leaning towards the red one more than this one. I have a circle. Ooh, I like the circle. What else do we have? That's a circle. That one's a little smaller. I like the big one. <clears throat> oh, we have this one with the purple flower. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, that's it. I 
think this is done. Awesome. I wanted to get it at the veil tomorrow. So that's awesome. Well, thanks for helping me finish this up, everyone. I appreciate your company. And I'm sure Caitlin will appreciate this lovely piece of art that I've put together for her for our sister swap so we'll see you next time bye bye